Hello, metaphysical community. I'm going to hmm, share an encounter I had um, with a reptilian being in the flesh. Now, um, let, let me share that first and then, and then share some points, okay? Um, without getting specific, because as much anonymity as is reasonably possible for me in life, I consider important. Um, this person is a trainer or a guru of sorts for a certain sport that I enjoy and respect very much. And <laughs> now I've noticed this person will ask me questions sometimes that are a very probing nature, like he knows certain secret things you could say about me or things that I just choose not to tell other people. And uh, he's asked me the same question on repeated occasions, and I'm not going to be specific, it doesn't matter. It's just that he definitely uses a certain sort of intuition or psychic ability or whatever. And I always say no, because I don't know who's listening and how it might be used against me or why I'm even being asked that, what it has to do with, you know. Anyway, that's one observation. Now, we've all been going through this... Um, awakening process, right? Where dormant abilities, you might say, are becoming more active within us. So, my guides pointed me to this reptilian thing. You know, and my guides are various beings. Some of them are, well, from other places, you could say, but... <sighs> I've, I've been paying attention and I've been trying to stay honest and objective and real instead of getting caught up in these maniacal fear stories, okay? Now, what happened was I was working with this guy one day and, um, you know, in a, you know, working on the sport that he's helped me improve that very much. And all I can say about this guy really in my experience are good things. Um, basically, he was much better at me. Uh, much better than me um, in the beginning and he has been instrumental in, in sharing certain key things that and this is another thing I learn better from him than I do from the other comparable gurus or, or whatever you want to call it trainers close enough like when he shares an idea with me it clicks it, it gets I got it boom and I have it from then on and it's really impressed me, some of the, the keys this guy shared with me. And I've become much better at what he does than he is. And he has no problem with that. You know, basically I can hand him his ass at the very thing that in the beginning I sucked at. And, you know, he's helped me get much better. So I couldn't say anything negative about this person. But I did notice one day, I noticed his eyes changing to reptilian slits, okay? And when we were working together, this is in the flesh, this is not me having a lucid dream or an astral projection, which is where I get most interesting information and experiences about life beyond the five senses. Um, this happened, you know, while I was in this body, practicing my sport with this guy. And I saw it a few times, and I felt that he knew I saw it, and we were just both at a place where it wasn't a big deal. There was no need to say anything. There was no need for a negative reaction. He knows I trust him, and he trusts me. And somehow that just made it possible. Um, like I say, in, in, the, in, the, in the sport I'm in referring to, there are a lot of nasty characters who sort of parasite off of, you know, people involved with this sport, and He's not one of them, and uh, he's one of the good guys, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, I just I wanted to share that because I'm looking over these these belief systems that are getting passed around out there. That you know, the biggest secret in the world is that it's all dominated by reptilian monster people, and everybody's a slave, and and then the really awful shit like you know, hundreds of thousands of kids are being eaten, and and it's like. 
Guys, I don't know if any of that's real or not, but I'm certainly not going to jump on some bandwagon and become a witch-hunting, psychotic racist towards a group of beings just because somebody's written a bunch of shit down about them, okay? Now, whatever turns out to be true as this revealing and this awakening continues, uh, I'll assess accordingly. But in my experience, and in, in, in being honest, and um, just being as real as I can about it, I just... Personally, I just can't support ideas that are like based in fear and riling people up about things that they don't have any personal legitimate reason to be so irate and angry and afraid, mostly afraid. I mean, what's to say that when, when you point out a certain race of beings who are maybe different than humans, who are maybe among us, um, and you depict them as the, the cause of every horrible thing that's ever happened here and in a million other planets, who's to say that whoever's writing that down isn't the real problem? You know what I mean? Now, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying, if you're out there and you have limited experience with these things like myself, but you're where something's going on, my advice is to not get caught up in witch hunts because... I really have a beef with witch hunts and all the different forms they've taken on this planet. And fear-based belief systems, regardless of who they're coming from, it's our responsibility to not keep getting enslaved here, okay? Um, and, and spreading information that's fear-based when you don't have any actual proof or practical reason to be doing that. You're just scared your adrenaline's running because you've read things that are scary and now you're passing it around like it's fact. Like, you know, just parroting awful things you've heard. Now, if you really do have experience and you really have witnessed things, share those things, you know, for sure. If you, if you, if you want to, if you choose to. But don't build an entire belief system about it. Don't add any assumptions to it. Just be honest and share what you've experienced, okay? What you've witnessed, not what you heard from so-and-so. You don't know what so-and-so is dealing with emotionally and mentally and what their perception is, you know? You, you have your honest experience to be the most honest from. And that's all I'm saying. There's a lot of fear-based stuff going on out there. And when humans are scared, they're stupid. Now, that's a fact. So, I don't know if there's a big agenda behind that fear or if it's just people passing it around and making it worse. But Or, or some combination of both. But... I know for sure that it does not serve you, humanity, to be afraid, okay? That I know. So if you see scary stuff written down, hey, you know, I shouldn't have to say this, but people remember. Don't believe everything you read, okay? Don't believe everything you read. I love you.